so in this one in this in this one we will see the how we can query the data from the table now if i place the star here it means what i'm searching the data from the all column so i i know uh, i have the i have the i have the sentence like i am the boy in one of my records so what will i do i'm just copying it and searching so now i don't know in which column it has so i'm just searching it yeah so now if you see here the these are this is this is not a single word this is the sentence so i need to place it in the double quotation so here it is giving me the one record now let's say i'm doing the same thing with a free text what will happen so how many records it will return it will give me just uh, one record or it will give me two record it will give me the two record because the free text will try to match the approximate percentage uh, how much percentage is match and uh, it will try to match the meaning of the sentence so i am a boy i am a boy so it looks like uh, system is getting the maximum matching percentage so it just returning me the two records so this is the basic difference between the contents and the free text now another word let's say for more meaningful i'm just uh, design i think this word will not make more sense but it will make the more sense for the yes. so free text i have the two word not crucial flat washer and the not screw washer these are the two words right so when i am querying this table i am seeing the flat washer so i am placing the flat washer here and querying the data from this table with the contains so i am just getting the one single record now what i am doing what i am just copying this flat washer and i am searching with the free text so what will happen internet system will check the meaning approximate meaning so flat washer and system also got the nut screw washer so meaning uh, actually free text will search with the meaning so this is the basic difference between the free text and the contents hope you understood the difference between the contents and the free text and how we can query the data from the table now you know we have searched from all the column now let's say we will search from the specific column i am just searching from the description one let's say how many records i am getting yes i'm getting a single record now again i'm doing the same thing with the description one column i'm getting how many records two records now i'm doing i'm changing the name of the column i'm not getting single record now for testing purpose what i'm doing is i'm doing something uh, some freaky work here so i have the description too here i'm updating the value flat version Right. Now, if I come here and I uh, now I don't have any record, but now if I query it, uh, I will get the single record. So if I say I don't want to do this like this, I uh, have a star. What will happen with this? So I got the two record here, and what will happen in this case? In this case, I will get the three record. Right, I got the three record. So, uh, free, just the main importance here, the contents and the free text is contents will search for exact match, free text will search for the meaning of the word or the phrase we have given. Hope you understood the how we can create the full text catalog, full text index, and how we can query the data from full text catalog. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to like our Facebook page so that you will get all updates. Thank you very much for watching.